Yeah, sure. Rakeem, uh, what, what did it mean to you to, to be voted a, a team captain uh, last week? Oh, man, it, it was an honor. Uh, that means a lot from me, my family, and just, you know, everybody around in my support system. You know what I mean? I really couldn't say much to the team at the time, but, you know, it, that was a blessing, you know, getting the team captain and you know, getting to be – you know, that guy in front of me, you know, get to be looked at like that. So it, it was a complete blessing, and I appreciate all my teammates and everybody who voted. Yeah. Hey, Rakeem, kind of a two-part thing here. Georgia's run defense was number one in the country last year. Uh, so I'm wondering what you think of what you see out of Georgia uh, on defense and then also y'all's game plan, you know, how important it is to be balanced in this game. I mean, like you said, we're going to, you know, do what brothers do. And they they have a good front, you know, they have a lot of, I think they have maybe eight guys back, you know, from last year. So they're defensively sound, you know what I mean? So, you know, we're gonna have to come with it. So and we've been practicing hard this week. Today, they had an amazing day, you know what I mean? And we we know it's at stake. We, we know we, how we gotta play. We know who we gotta go up against. We just gotta do our job and play. Terry, uh, Rakeem, uh, what what kind of leadership uh, have y'all been getting from Felipe at quarterback? And just you know, talk a little bit about him and and, and his play. Felipe is just just an outgoing guy. You know what I mean? He's a guy that if you mess up, he's gonna tell you you messed up. You know what I mean? He's not afraid to come to you and tell you, oh, hey, you just you didn't do that right. You know, he's gonna come tell you. He going to, you know what I mean? He going to be that dude to put that person in that place. He He's just a, a smart guy. Like, he knows football very well. You know what I mean? He he leads the team. He knows how to do it. And, you know, I think the, the kid, dang, that left the office later than the coaches yesterday, what I've seen. You know what I mean? So, he he's just an amazing dude. Thank you. Ty. Ty. Rakeem, Texas A&M quarterback Kellen Mond was asked about if he considered opting out earlier this week. He said never did. He was on a mission. I know you came back to improve your NFL draft spot, but with everything going on leading up to this, did you ever at any point consider opting out the 2020 college football season? Uh, I could. I, I would have to do a lot to do that, and I, I couldn't even do that to my team. You know what I mean? I, I owe so much to my team, and I feel like, this is my team. I feel like we, I came back to go establish something. So opting out wasn't even in the talk. You know what I mean? It was not even in the talk. We were just finding ways how to get through all this mess. So and we Nate. did. Nate? We came you guys from awfully young offensive line. Just how do you feel that, that they're progressing to go up against a defense like Georgia? I mean, it, they're going to put the guy there, you know, that that's the best, you know what I mean? So the, the young guys have been doing an amazing job, you know what I mean? And there's a few, like I said, but those guys on the O-line, I've been very proud of, you know what I mean? Coach Bo Davis has been just getting them right, him and Pittman, you know what I mean? So, and all I can do is trust him. So those guys have been great and always been great, so. All right, let me know if you've got more questions in the chat. Hutch? Yeah, Rakeem, uh, I know one of the things that was talked about you improving your draft stock was was catching passes. I mean, do you, you feel confident going into to week one that you're going to be able to catch some passes? I mean, I, <laughs> I thought I've always caught the ball well. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I'm really not sure where that came from, but I mean, like I said, I've just got to keep doing what I'm doing. I, all the other stuff, I just let it go in and out the other year. You know what I mean? I try to be the best I could be for my team. People know I can catch. People, people know I can block. You know what I mean? I, it's my last year, so I guess that. And you know, in all honesty, just to sum the story up, that's really why I came back. You know. So. Okay, Betty. Kim, I wanted to ask you about those linebackers uh, for Georgia. 
a pretty good group. Monty Rice, number 32, looks like he calls kind of the shots on defense. Nicobe Dean, number 17, also a really talented guy. What what makes those guys so good at, at what they do? Well, I've been watching film on 32. He kind of, you know, captain of the defense, you know, controls what goes on, you know what I mean? And, and they're a team that really communicates, you know what I mean? They're, like you said, they're the number one run-stop defense, so they're going to have to communicate, you know what I mean? And that, that's all I've been seeing on film. They they really communicate. I think 32 has always been a starter, you know, 17 just kind of coming in the mix, but he's always been there. He He's good too, you know what I mean? So, and I think he's the other one. So he's pretty physical. But 32 is just all around, all around guy here, you know what I mean? So it'll be fun playing them guys. Troy. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm curious what part of your game that you want to improve the most this season. Uh, it would, like I said, it would probably be pass block. You know what I mean? And that's what every back has to improve on. You know what I mean? You put a 215 guy up against a 250 guy, you know what I mean? It's gonna go either way, either time. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's really what I want to work on. And like I said, catching, I have no idea where that's came where that came from, but I'm sure I have been working on it. Tom, Rakeem, you mentioned that um, uh, coming back. One of the reasons why you wanted to come back was to help the Razorbacks improve their record. Uh, and so here, here's the here it comes up Saturday, and all oh, with the COVID and everything you guys have been through, uh, how special is it? Just get this season going, and and how impactful? Man, I'm gonna be honest, with you, I, I I can't sleep. <laughs> I love ball so much, I I can't even sleep right now, and and, and it's a blessing that we're just getting through all of this, you know what I mean, and and, and get to go showcase what the Razorbacks are really about, you know what I mean? I'm. I'm ready for y'all to see what, what we have in the tank. You know what I mean? So it it's amazing. I'm I'm just blessed that the whole team just got through COVID and every other team and everybody just been handling it well. You know what I mean? It's been tough, but it's good to see, you know, SEC football back this weekend. So I'm sure put a lot of smiles on people's faces. It does. Yeah. Thank you, team. Seth. You got me now. Okay. Rakeem, um, you know, there's only going to be 17,000 fans in uh, Donald W. Reynolds. Uh, how do you bring the energy and worry about the atmosphere going into Saturday's game? <laughs> Say that again. Uh, so there's only going to be uh, 17,000 fans in the stadium. Um, how do you focus and bring the energy? Uh, I hope those 17,000 loud. Because <laughs> I does mean, that, <laughs> we, does that change anything for y'all? It don't change nothing, but I, I just hope they loud because we're going to bring the energy. It, it, it's going to be a little something different, you know what I mean? And that, not saying I, you know, it, it's it's different here now. It, it's a lot different. Everything around here is different. And I mean, if those 17,000 are going to come to the game, those 17,000 better be be louder. We're going to have to find a new 17,000. So, Jason. Jason. I got a two-parter for you, Rakeem. Uh, number one, how healthy are you and what's it feel like to go into a season being healthy like you are? And then you said you can't wait for us to see what you guys are. What What are you guys? What do you think you guys are as a team entering this season? I think we're a physical sound team. Like, we, we have been playing physical ball. You know what I mean? And and I, I'm in the best shape I could be in. And I'm, I'm healthy as it could be. You know what I mean? So... All, all we got to do is trust the guys that are coaching us, you know what I mean? And just go off of what they tell us. So we we just, we doing what Arkansas do, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's been different. And so we we just trying to go out there and play physical ball the whole, the whole time. First, second, third to fourth. I mean, just smash mouth football. That's what we trying to do. And that's what, and that's kind of what we want to be known as. That's what we want our, our identity to be is a physical football team that's going to come and smash you in the mouth. You know what I mean? So. Hi. 
Eric Keem, you've got a lot of awards leading up to this season. Um, second team preseason seems like the majority of them. Najee Harris for Alabama and then Colin Hill for Mississippi State seem to be ahead of you in most of these categories. How do you prove to the media and just college football itself that you're the best running back in the SEC? Lately, lately I've been I, – if y'all don't know, I, I haven't been – I'm on Twitter, but if you go look at my likes, I don't really like anything. I don't – I'm on there, but I'm not on there. You know what I mean? I see it, and I'm kind of – I take that to the field. You know what I mean? And all the accolades and the, the awards and all that, to be honest, I – I have no idea, no idea about. <laughs> I'm just, I'm up here playing ball. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be the best teammate I could be for, for one of my teammates, uh, uh, somebody, a uh, Frank. You know what I mean? So, the awards and all that, I'm not. I haven't been big on them or you know, locked in. Two more, watch. Yeah, Rakeem, I think last year you averaged about 15 carries a game. Uh, do you think you're capable of of getting a bigger workload than that this year? You think you can carry 20 times a game? What, what's kind of your expectation from that standpoint? Man, my, my expectation this year is, is really to, to do whatever I got to do to so we can win ball games. You know what I mean? And if that takes 20, it takes 20. You know what I mean? So, and I, and I can handle it. If it's 15 again, it's 15. But let's put a dub on that, you know, at the end of it. You know what I mean? So, it, it, it's a it's a lot. To, to, to go to, you know what I mean? So, but we should see Saturday. Last one, Jason. Hey, Rakeem, you, you mentioned Smash Mouth team. I know you guys want to play that way on both sides of the ball. What's the Smash Mouth up tempo when you guys want to go tempo team offensively? What's that look like and how successful can that be the way you guys want to play with the physicality and, and the quickness? I mean, you, you better than ran eight miles if you're going to come out there and you think you're going to just stop tempo. I mean, so, like I said, the quickness of the of the offense and just the physicalness, the physicalness, just it, it's awesome. And I, I've been seeing, you know, I'm a pretty physical guy and I see some of my teammates going and trying to kill this guy just to make the play, you know what I mean? So it, it is going to be amazing to, to watch, you know what I mean? And I'm just... I'm so amped to just see my team play and see myself play and show y'all, you know what I mean? So that's really what we just want to be known as. And that's what we're trying to establish. Physical physical football team and win ball games. All right, Trey Biddy, last one. Yeah, Rakeem, uh, you entered camp at 206 pounds. I think you kind of suggested a minute ago that you may be about 215. I'm just curious what your weight is at right now. Say that again. I'm just curious what your weight is right now. You were listed at 206, and you kind of said you might be about 215 now. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm about uh 207, 206. Okay. You know, I mean, if I eat a pizza before the game, I'll probably be 210. <laughs> <Gotcha>. <laughs> so. Thanks, Rakeem. So. All right. Thanks, Rakeem. Appreciate you, man. Thanks, Rakeem. Thanks.